uh, Marcus Fox, MS Technical Services. Uh, I'm a licensed three phase electrician, BTEC HD Building Services Engineering. Formal courses complete in solar PV, electric fencing, CCTV cameras, uh, automation, amongst other things. But today we're touching on load shedding solutions for you in South Africa right now because you had it up to year. It's getting super annoying, right? So first thing you, you think about backing up is obviously the Wi-Fi. And if you have not already, you know, it's, it's an easy enough solution. I'm sure most people by now would have some kind of Wi-Fi UPS or some kind of backup for their, for their Wi-Fi. That's an over-the-counter solution. No electrician needed. You can pick it up, flea market, corner, shop, hardware, stall, chi, wherever, online. You know, it's available. Simple enough. You buy the box, plug it in. Take out the adapter from the Wi-Fi router, the fiber box, you plug it in there, uh, load shedding comes around, boom, internet is on, you don't have to go to the office to go work, you can still carry on working from home, kids can stream what they need to stream, you know, make a TikTok video uploaded, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever the thing is to do with the internet, you can do it, because you've got internet now, right? All good, happiness. So now you finish working, yeah, done for the day. And listen, there's a, another round of road shedding, six till eight o'clock in the evening. That's your TV time, right? And you just Christmas, you bought a 50 inch Ultra HD TV and what that. The light is saying, yes, like daddy can't be, uh, I want to watch the TV. And you look behind the TV, yo. There's no plug to plug this um, DC UPS in. What now? Ha, huh? not to worry. There's another over-the-counter solution. You can buy your power trolley, inverter from hardware store, here, there, online, everywhere. Comes with the two batteries, you know, that should be able to run your TV for the full four hours, maybe with a decoder. And if it's dark, maybe you can plug a little standing lamp in, obviously with a LED bulb. Not a 60 watt incandescent bulb, which is unnecessary. Right, you sort it. You can sit there for hours, watch movies and everything. All good, all good, no problems. Right, happiness. It is dark outside, the alarm's beeping, gate motor's beeping, garage motor's beeping, electric fence just went off because the batteries all died. So that is the point now where you think, okay, yeah, what now? I can't buy. A trolley for each one of these things. This is where you now start looking at having an embedded system, central system, where you might need an electrician such as myself to come out to you and assess your requirements, you know, and look at your load, look at all the things you want to keep powered up during load shedding, and then obviously look at the space you would like your inverter installed, your battery bank, and everything distant from the DB. Because that will add to the cost if it's next to your distribution board obviously a straightforward standard costing um there you go through a change over selected circuits in your db obviously we make sure there's no heavy appliances on the circuits you need to back up there's no washing machines dishwashers tumble dryers i don't know pumps you know irrigation systems and geezers that was also accidentally end up being on your inverter circuit the backed up circuits so that's all stuff that needs to be assessed before we can move on to the next step of determining the size of your inverter so um yeah we'll touch on that next